Everybody is having fun with Shiranui besides you. Why? Because you're a free-to-play player. Well, I built a free-to-play Shiranui deck. Let's do this. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Free to play is a subjective term. You could build the most expensive deck in this game that uses main boxes because you could get lucky. Well, we are going to use free to play as defined by only going through a main box once or a mini box twice for super rare and ultra rare cards. That means you can only have two of a super rare and one of an ultra rare if it's from a main box. So how does this follow the rules? As you can see, you only go through the, main, the mini box twice to grab the Squire, grab the Solitaire, grab at least one Dragon's Mirror, one Squire Saga on your way of going through the mini box, and also pick up another Soul Dragon on your first or second go through the mini box. The rest of the deck are rares and commons, or all just rares. Now you're gonna be thinking, what is this card, this is Catan, Sealing Ceremony of Catan. Once per turn, banish a fire from your graveyard to target a card in your opponent's graveyard, any card, spell, trap, monster, banish that target. So if they have an invocation, it will essentially negate it. Invocation, when they activate in the grave to add back their invoker, banish it, they don't get to add back invoker and they don't get to recycle the invocation. Banish anything to trigger your effects. A great effect to trigger with your Catan is going to be Spirit Master. When you banish Spirit Master, destroy a face-up card in the field. When you banish your Samurai, add a Shiranui from the grave back to your hand. When you banish your Solitaire, you get to special summon a banished Shiranui onto the field. When you banish your Squire, you get to draw a card, discard a card. And also, by banishing cards, that fuels your Shade. Shade contributes itself to Special Summon two banished monsters onto the field. The skill we are using is Level Augmentation and allow me to present to you your best turn one play combo with this deck using the skill. Reveal a monster, the selected monster will gain level. So what you're gonna do with this deck, your main opener is gonna be a Squire or a Spirit Master. We'll talk about Samurai Skull in a second. So you'll summon Squire, you'll summon a Tuner from the deck, or if you have Spirit Master, you could summon the Tuner from your grave. Both of them also summon from the hand. So your Squire will summon a level two Tuner or a level three Tuner. Then, depending on which Tuner you have on the field, you're going to reveal the appropriate level from your hand, a monster. If you have a level two on the field, you'll reveal a level four. If you have a level three on the field, you're going to reveal a level three if you're lucky enough to have another level three in your hand. Now, when you do that, your fields will equal level 10. You're gonna make your turn one Shiranui Sun Saga, which cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects as long as you could banish cards from your grave. So Sealed Tombs does turn this off. 3,500 attack, can't be destroyed. That's insane. Now, what else besides making that turn one play? We have Samurai Skull. Samurai Skull is great with Catan as it fuels the Catan to banish cards from your graveyard and banish your opponent's graveyard. If you dislike the Assault Mode players in the ladder, well, Catan is going to banish their Assault Beast and they will cry and you will win. Samurai Skull by itself, on summon, you could send your level two Spectral Sword from your deck to the graveyard. What does that accomplish? Well. When they take out your Samurai Skull, you could activate the Spectral Sword in the graveyard with the Samurai Skull by banishing both to then synchro for your Sharanui Samurai Saga. This is a level six, 2,500 attack. Just think of it as a vanilla. Just think of it as a means to go up to the level eight and the level 10, because you can continue to do that with the Spectral Sword. As long as you have that in the graveyard, you could banish itself in the level six, make the eight. Now, eight on the field is crazy because on summon, you banish any of your Shiranui's from the graveyard. You'll get boosted by the attack of the monster you banish. So if you summon your Shogun Saga, banish your Samurai, you go to 5,500 attack. That is nuts. 
Now, if any of your synchros are banished, when you banish your solitaire, you're going to be able to re-special summon them back on the field. Sun Saga in the grave, you could re-summon it with Spirit Master. Sun Saga banished, you could re-summon it with your solitaire being banished. And then when you follow up by special summoning on the field, you're likely to have other synchros in the graveyard are banished. And when you do, you could return them to the extra and destroy cards on the field. The other synchro that's great is your Squire Saga. It allows you to destroy back row, monster, and boost up your monsters by 300 by banishing a card on the field or in the graveyard that you control. Then the spice. We spice it up with a dragon's mirror. You fusion summon your nether soul dragon. This is free to play by banishing zombies on the field or in the graveyard. You already know all the zombie effects that happen when they get banished. Now you have 3000 attack. Now you turn any monster to zero attack when you attack into it. Then you summon a token equal to their attack and then you can swing again with that token. A great free to play card is clash. It triggers all the banish effects. It also reduces their attack and negates their attack. Now, one card we didn't really go into is the Samurai. Samurai itself. You could banish a zombie during either player's turn, gain 600 attack. If you battle any monster, it will banish that monster. So for example, you're playing against Despacito, a rare deck, attack their machines, banish it. Don't forget it, because I never would. That's the deck, free to play. Have at it. Squire it up. I might make room for copy pastas in between games. Otherwise, no, no. Bob boost the level, level 10. Turn one level 10 with the Catan. This is good. This is very good. Catan counters so many cards. I wish we'd play against an element saber. Cosmic Cyclone, so good it gets cosmic. I can start setting up. D Droll. Here's a better deal. Because I have so many notifications, that's why I'm going to do a dual room. How about that? How about that logic? Do we have someone here that can make a dual room? H Murata? You want to make that dual room? You want to make it? You want to make it? You're here, thank you. We have like 20 outs. Summon level three. So we could very safely deal with the back row before even committing with the dragon's mirror. This is free to play. Are you comprehending this, that the level 10 Sun Saga cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. None of our zombies can be destroyed. We have a follow-up Dragon's Mirror. We can destroy the back row, destroy the monster, pop everything. Can banish just the Spirit Master. Ba boost. Pop the back row. Pop the monster. Dragons. Mirror. Oh my Jesus. Draw a card, discard a card, why not? Why not? Draw, discard. 24, I feel nothing. I feel free. Nether soul, finish him. Free to play. That draw discard was good to protect our monsters from being destroyed by battle or card effects. Katan with Samurai Skull. A lot of people are asking the question, why am I playing Samurai Skull? It's for this reason. Send the level two. And when Samurai Skull is sent to the graveyard, we get to Synchro using the grave. Or I should say, no, thank you. What, what is this? Red Eyes player? We could banish. We could banish. We're going to banish the warrior. Potentially. I don't think we even want to Catan. We're just gonna allow it. Allow it, we make the level six, then we make the level eight, then I think we, whoa. Herald of the Abyss. Send my Samurai, Samurai Skulls really this much of a threat to you? Send? 
I can't believe that this Dakini effect does not trigger Samurai Skull. It makes no sense. What the hell? Anima-san, four months. Yeet. Thank you for the four months, Anima-san. Officially, I'm out for you. Your boy Kaiba, tier one for 17 months, seven months away from ascending. I'm Leo Luster, sorry for the static in the other video. I hope this makes up for it. Thank you, I'm Leo Luster. Okay, so he's gonna be 33. I'm gonna skip this video, it's annoying. Sorry. We good, let's go. Mm. Draw. Our move, our move, our move. Okay, let's go. Samurai Saga. It's lit. So, let's level augmentation, but boost it to level eight. Just like that. Summon the Spectral Sword. Synchro Shokan into level 10 Sun Saga. Activate. Return. Destroy a card. Goodbye, Power of the Guardian does not target. Plays around Red Eye Slash Dragon. Pop it! Just like that. That is absurd. That is amazing. That, I love it. Wow. We just dealt with a Power of the Guardian's Red Eye Slash Dragon. That's insane. <sighs> Screw it. Katan. Manish. Get that out of here. Back to you. Now Samurai Skull could send a Solitaire and then we could banish the Solitaire, special summon a monster. That's the combos. Do we have a level three tuner banish? No, I don't think so. That was a sick play. Yeah, boy. Whoa. Oh. Oh, right, he can't special on that turn, we good. Oh my Jesus, that's a GG no re. The power of Samurai Skull. We could also just simply send a Spirit Master. How about that, let's keep it simple. Send the Spirit Master, now you know why we're playing Samurai Skull. Now you know why. Banish it. And banish this. Activate the Spirit Master. It gives the deck a lot of versatility. Clap them! Three, two, play! That's how you do it. Hmm. Gotta play around. This big, big play from Mishizu. Focus. Kid sees Ghost, congrats on the top 10. Triple Black Whirlwind. This is the way. Get searching. TK, don't you get tired to answer the same questions over and over again? Yes, I, I could. I am human at times. I try my best to be a robot. But I'm here to have a good time with all of you. I'm here for top tier plays. I only ever get frustrated when I let myself get distracted from the gameplay. And then you have like an idiot in the chat going, that was the most obvious Blackbird close. As he's sitting on the couch, scratching his balls while I'm sitting here trying to answer questions and pay attention to the chat, make sure you all are having a good time. So we get some hands where you go for the autopilot play, but it's not a good play because they have a, a very specific situation that will come up one out of a hundred duels where the autopilot summoning a spirit master ends up being the incorrect play. So then you think some top 10,000 Casey Cup player thinks they're good for like a second. All right, spirit master. Let's go.
So did he not seal the wombs? My wombs have been sealed. What the hell? Dragon's Mirror. When your wombs get sealed. That's right, free to play. That's free. That's the way. Then you're going to activate the spirit mat. This is all under a sealed tombs, by the way. Okay? It's all under sealed tombs. Kill the Hawk Joe. He can redirect it. I don't care. Redirect it. Right now. Uh-huh. And you attack. It doesn't get destroyed. But then you attack again. That's how you do it. That's how you win. We number one. 